I know a new Thor Love and Thunder trailer drops today, and I'm sure I'll talk about that, but honestly, I'm far more excited for Mission Impossible. The Lord and Savior, Tom Cruise, has gifted us a trailer from atop his volcano throne for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And this is one of my most anticipated movies coming out. I eat up these Mission Impossible films. And I'm sure some have pointed this out, but this trailer has a bit of a James Bond vibe. The slower music, the sensual visuals. I mean, we got women dancing, they, they arguably look naked. Uh, it's kind of turning me on for a little bit. We even have the old school vintage vehicles driving around London. Then we see our little man TC, John wicking the shit out of some guys, doing that patented flip over the shoulder that works oh so well. And not only is Tom Cruise back in full glory, but female Tom Cruise is here once again. Rebecca Ferguson, who I freaking adore, looks to be once again a powerhouse. Although I'm very nervous later in this trailer and I'll point it out at what I'm seeing. We have ourselves a bit of a Zack Snyder BVS post-apocalyptic scenario playing out. I don't know what's going on. Haley Atwell's in the mix this time, plus Vanessa Kirby, who always pulls off that strong female lead haircut that I freaking adore. I love that, the shaved side with the longer flowing hair. Women don't do that in real life, but in the movies, it's like nine times out of 10, you're gonna see that hairstyle. I should back up. I'm sure there are plenty of women that do rock that hairstyle in real life. I just have the lamest existence ever and really only see the same four or five women all the time. My wives, of course, all, all of my wives. The whole crew's here. We got Simon Pegg, we got Vin Rames, and then boom, what the hell happened to Rebecca Ferguson? Why does she have an eye patch? What the hell did you do to my future bride? And actually, I'm gonna take back what I said about this looking like BVS. This looks like Uncharted 3. All right, there's a shot here, mano y mano, where we see TC and somehow he got younger in this film. I don't know what they're doing. If it's makeup, it's de-aging. It's reminded me of Mission Impossible 1. Uh, just the way it's shot, it kind of has an almost desaturated look. It feels a little bit more old school when we see the the one-on-one -on -one going on. Everyone always points out the T-1000 Tom Cruise run that he does. He's, he's the best in the business at running. No one argues it. But what we're not pointing out and appreciating is how many times he does this in films with the hands. Whoa, puts the hands up. He does it in such a cool way. Like this isn't a cool move, this is submissive. But somehow Tom Cruise with his alpha status is able to make this look awesome. Hmm, <laughs> there's our hero shot. Whole gang on the boat. The rest of this trailer is just a cavalcade of action moments. It looks insane. It's like a greatest hits from all the other Mission Impossible movies. We have the fake train shot where he's on top fighting the guys. They go through a tunnel. Side profile Tom Cruise running through cool locations. And of course, the thing that makes Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise falling from things. This time a freaking motorcycle off the side of a mountain peak. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, bizarre title aside, looks phenomenal. I cannot wait for this film. I mean, I'm gonna have to wait, but I don't want to, okay? I don't want to. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you love the Mission Impossible franchise? Does it keep getting better, keep up in itself? That's what I think. Like the video if you had a good time. Maybe think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie and television related content here each week. Would love to have you. And with that, I'll play myself out. Dun 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 Oh wow, you're still here post title bumper. Well, since I have you, Maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Especially if you're a fan of the channel and have been so for a while, it's a nice way to say, hey Adam, here's one dollar a month. Stay the course. You're worth one dollar to me and nothing more. And I would take that as a compliment. You can also become a member right here on YouTube via the YouTube join button. So, uh, you know, in either case, you're, you're giving back a little bit. You're saying, hey Adam, I appreciate it. Here's your, here's your freaking dollar.